Hi friends, um, we are going to start our Native American sand art project today and I'm super, super excited. Um, this should be a lot of fun, so let's get started. Okay, everybody should have this guy. Um, this is a template for our project. Um, this is what we're going to be putting our sand on. And as you can see, it's already divided into four spots and it has this circle in the middle. Um, that is going to be the basic format of our artwork. Um, so, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to take a look back at our Native American symbol imagery um, and we need to decide what we want in our composition. So, if you remember, we were looking off of this warm up. Um, this is where I'm getting all of my ideas. Before we do anything else, I want you to notice that this kind of looks like the start of this sun. And what does this sun mean? Right, it means happiness. So, um, before I start anything else, I'm going to turn this into the symbol for happiness. Friends, I am using a black pen so that you can see what I'm drawing easier. You should be using a pencil so that anything you want to change, you can. So, I already have my circle. I already have my north, south, east, and west lines. The only thing I need to add are the double lines that are parallel that are between all of my um, these lines. There we go. I now have my symbol for happiness. Easy peasy. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to look at the rest of my symbols and I'm going to decide which ones I want to add. So one thing that's very important to me is friendship. So I'm going to use my crossed arrows. That means friendship. Again, I'm using black pen. You should be using pencil. Um, so I want to make them nice and big. If I were to draw them super small, it would be hard to add the sand. So I want to make sure that I draw them nice and big. So um, I have my crossed lines. I have my angle line right here and an angle line right here and then I'm going to add two more angle lines one two I'm going to do the same thing over here voila there I have my symbol for friendship I am NOT going to write the word friendship on this nope 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 I don't want any words I just want the symbols Alrighty, um, next I think that I am going to do the symbol for mountain, which means great abundance. So I am going to start with a line that goes just like this, so it's a horizontal line. And then I am going to draw a zigzag line above it. So a zigzag line is a bunch of angle lines put together. Voila, there are my mountains. That means great abundance. So let's see, what else am I going to put? Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do the horse for journey because I think that that's a cool symbol. Um, so I'm looking at my paper and I am drawing what the horse looks like. I have a rectangle, which is a geometric shape. I have a line, a circle, an angle line, two more angle lines right here, and done. Voila, I've got my horse, that means journey, and last thing, hmm, hard to choose, there's so many that I like. Um, I think I'm going to do the man because that will represent my dad, and I love my dad so, so much. So I'm going to start with the line, and I'm going to turn that into a triangle. I'm going to draw a circle on top, two lines coming down. I'm going to extend this line out, and that line, and voila! I've got my symbol for man. Great. So I have friendship, I have great abundance, I have journey, and I have man. So I am all done drawing that stuff. 
So friends, now we're going to talk about how to add the glue and the sand. This is a lot of fun and there's a specific way that we need to do it. We want to keep our separate colors all nice and pretty. We don't want them to be a big jumbled mess. So what we are going to do is we are going to start in the middle and then work our way out. So I'm going to start with this sun right here. Um, <laughs> I need to decide what color to use too. Got lots of colors here. You've got a bunch of colors at your table. You can use whichever ones you want. We want this to be nice and colorful. Um, okay, I think for the middle one, I am going to use this really pretty purple color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to open it. Remember, it twists to open. Your glue may be a little bit cloggy um, if somebody forgot to close it, which is kind of a bummer. So we're going to make sure that our glue works. I can squeeze it a little bit and I can hear it breathe. And that means it's good to go. Um, like I said, I'm going to be starting in the middle and working my way out. So I'm going to take my glue and I'm essentially going to be drawing with it. So I'm going to do this very carefully. My bottle is always moving. If I were to stop moving with my bottle, I would get like a big puddle in one spot, which is not what I want. I want it to be a nice, even circle. Voila. Notice that when I picked up my bottle, I made sure it didn't like drip in some direction. Okay, now I need to do my little line. Ooh, yum. I'm doing this very carefully to make sure I don't get any weird drips in any direction. Um, another thing, friends, I'm not squeezing my bottle super hard. Just squeezing it just a little bit. Too much glue is not going to be fun here. Too much glue is going to make your life hard. Don't do that. And yeah. Okay, there we go. So friends, you can see that I have drawn over my sun. I did not draw over these parts yet because remember, I'm starting from the middle and working my way out. Perfect, so I'm ready to add my sand. Okie dokie, you'll notice over here, look at all these pretty colors of sand that we have. If you mix them up, then you only get one color of sand. So we wanna make sure that we keep all of our sand separate so that we can have lots of colors, but also so that the classes that come after you and do this too, they have lots of colors too, not just one. So we are working with one color at a time. How many colors at a time are we working with? One, good job. So I'm going to open up my thingy, my little cup, <clears throat> and I'm going to take my fingers like little pinchers, like meh, 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 meh. and I am going to pick up the sand and I'm just going to start to sprinkle it onto my glue. If I were to just dump the whole thing out, I would have a bigger mess on my hands than I need to have. And I don't really want to clean up messes, so I'm just going to do this one at a time. There we go. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and covered. Every little bit. Nice. Done. Just kidding. Okay, so now I've set my cup aside. Please notice that the lids are on all of my other cups. I only have the lid off of one of my cups at a time. So now I'm going to pick this up and I'm gonna wiggle it around. So I'm kind of like moving it back and forth, just giving it a little wiggle. So I'm bending my paper to keep it all in the right spot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my cup, it's the same color, <clears throat> and I'm going to bend my paper. Do you see how I'm bending it in? and I am going to dump the extra sand right into the cup. And here I have my sand on my glue. I have the rest of my sand in my cup. I don't have any other colors in there. And I'm going to take my lid, put it back on tight, and then set it aside. I'm gonna blow away any extra little bits of sand that I may have, and there we go. Looks good so far. Um, now I'm going to decide which one I want to start with. So I think I'm going to start up here with my mountains. So I'm going to take my glue, open it up. And I'm very carefully going to trace my mountains with my glue. Remember, I don't want to stop at any point and like keep squeezing my bottle because then I'll have a big clump of glue. And that's not what I want. Alrighty, what color should my mountains be? 
think I'm going to make my mountains this color. It's kind of like a light purpley pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off. I only have the lid off of one cup at a time. The rest of my lids are closed. Um, and I'm going to take my pinchy fingers and I am going to put this kind of pink purpley color onto my mountains. All right, friends, this part is important. I'm going to set my cup aside. If I were to pick up my paper and tilt it in a way that the sand could fall down onto my sun, oh, let me just watch out. Don't touch it, it's still wet. If I were to do that so that it would come across my sun, I could mix the colors. Um, sorry, I can mix the purple and then this pink color, and I don't really want that to happen. I want them to stay the same color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my paper like this so that the sand part is towards me and the rest of it is away from me. And I am going to very carefully fold my paper and pour the rest of the pink away from the sun. Can you guys see how I moved it away from the sun, not towards the sun? That's going to make sure that it stays, um, my, cup, my colors stay separate. Excuse me guys, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Alrighty, so I'm done with that. I'm going to take my lid, I'm going to pop it back on. Alrighty, I'm going to keep going around. Um, I'm going to decide what color I want my horse to be. I think I want my horse to be green. Sure, I'll have my horse be green. Okay. If you've got anything on your glue, you can just wipe it off on the paper. And here I go. I've got glue everywhere I want glue to be. I'm going to take my green, I'm going to take off the lid. And I'm going to sprinkle my green on. I'm going to try to keep that green away from my purple sun because I don't want them to mix. I want my colors to be separate. Okie dokie, looks good. I'm going to set my cup aside. I'm going to pick my paper up so that my big pile of sand is towards me. And I am going to fold my paper and dump it into my cup. And there I have my green horse. Just tap off any extra. And all of my colors so far are staying separate, which is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to put my lid on. Ooh. Just gonna make sure it's on tight. Ooh. There we go. And I'm going to move on to my man. Notice how I'm turning my paper so that my hand does not accidentally hit any of the glue that is still wet. Alrighty. I think I'm going to make my man blue. So I've grabbed my blue cup, pop it open, Set my cup of, excuse me, set the lid aside and start to sprinkle on my sand. There we go. Set my cup aside. I'm going to pick it up. Try and fold it a little bit. And pour the rest of the sand back in the cup. Voila. Cruising right along. Now I have friendship, my arrows. Here we go. Ta-da! I think that I want my friendship arrows. Oops, I forgot a little spot. Here we go. 
want my friendship arrows to be red, like a red band right here. Pinchy fingers, wiggle and sand on. Making sure I get every little spot. Folding my paper and tapping the rest in. Easy peasy. So, so far I have all of my symbols done, but I still have the rest of my sun to do. So, I am going to do one piece of sun at, my time, at a time. So, let's see. So, here I go. I'm going to go all the way to the edge. And I'm going to find that same color that my sun is. My sun is purple. And I'm going to do the same thing that I have been doing. Pick it up. My pile of sand is towards me. So it's over a little bit. No big deal. There we go. Alrighty, so I have my sun and I have my four um, symbols. <clears throat> and my friends, I am done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the drying rack to make sure that nothing happens to it because this is pretty fragile right now. Do you guys remember when my pinky hit that line and it like, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the drying rack and next time I see you, I'll pass them back to you and we will finish them up. Um, the only thing that we have left to do is we need to pick a color of paper and we're going to mount it onto that color of paper so it has a nice border and then we are done. I'm so excited. I think that these are so fun and they are fast and fun to do. And next up we have our weaving, which I'm so, so, so excited about. So friends, um, that is all for this video and I love you very much and um, goodbye.